this year is powered by our friends at Seen It and at Rack the Planet. I'm sitting down with the cast and crew of Ice Cross, which is, uh, well, what's the, well, there's a full title, isn't it? Ice or, Cross, Life on the Edge. Thank you. Uh, talk of the fest, this talk a little bit, you guys. I mean, it, everyone's talking about it. Everyone's talking about how crazy it is or how crazy you guys are. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Um, we but think it one. everyone's excited <laughs> to see it. It, it. it airs tonight or shows tonight, screens tonight, world premieres tonight. Yeah, Somebody right, help absolutely. me. World premiere? I think only four people have seen the film. Okay, world premiere to tonight, you guys. Minaret Cinemas, 6 p.m. It's a double feature with Tracing the Divide right afterwards. But welcome to The Loop Live, everybody. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you for having here. us. Can you guys uh, go down and just kind of introduce yourselves and what, what you're doing on the project? DJ Kilpatrick, and I uh, co-directed, co-produced, co-wrote with Britton, and uh, also narrated and was the interviewer and a videographer. So <laughs> Anything else? Anything he else? doesn't just wear cowboy hats. He wears all the hats. Uh, I'm Britton Morris. I am an athlete in the sport, first and foremost. Uh, I'm also a co-director, co-writer, co-producer, and uh, I did a little bit of filming myself, I think. GoPro, does that count? I don't know. Sure, yeah. Hi, I'm Jack Schramm, American Ice Cross athlete from Jersey City, New Jersey. <laughs> My name is Eric Malinkovic. I'm from Canada. Um, one, of the other, one of the other competitors, and uh, came to join the ride with the rest of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm Chase Cooker. I'm the producer and co founder executive producer and co-founder of Lunar Door. My name is Kelly Cassian. I make an appearance in the film. I'm actually one of Britain's girlfriends. One of them. Whoa. I would say one of the athletes' girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many more Good questions. Start. I just wanted to make things interesting. Make sure everyone's awake. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> Watch films, find out. Just kidding. But anyways, and um, just had a fun time watching these two just absolutely crush it in the film. She's also a producer. She doesn't know it yet, but she did a lot for this film. She's a producer on it. So. Um, my name is Michael Schilf. I'm one of Britain's many boyfriends. <laughs> no, I am an EP uh, on the film and also co-founder of Lunar Door um, with Chase Cooker. <clears throat> Ice Cross, guys. I mean, let's get right into it. Like, what is it? Go for it, Jack. You're the man. Ice Cross is a four-man race downhill on ice skates with jumps, turns, and speeds up to 50 miles an hour. And only the four of you are doing it in the world, or <laughs> <laughs> who else is who else is brave enough to take this on? So it's a world championship tour uh, that goes all around the world. We compete in. Uh, the U.S., Canada, Japan, wow. um, a lot of countries in Europe, Finland, France, Germany, Austria, and um, it's just uh, um, like every country has their team, but we compete individually, uh, four men down the track at a time, first two over the finish line, advance to the next round, and then based on your uh, whatever, wh wherever you came in for that race, you get points, and then the accumulation of points Crowns a world champion at the end gotcha. of the season. Yeah, a bit of F1 mixed with uh, like snowboard cross, maybe ski cross. Some of the X Games, Basically. things that we've seen before, but uh, sort of a mix of all these things. And then you add ice skates and blades on top of it. Because yes. why not? Yeah, it's right, it's, right? it's just like all of those, except for um, I'd say a little bit more dangerous, just because of the, the aspect of the blades and the fact that. Uh, some of our tracks are built by the athletes and everything, and so uh, they're not in the they're not in the best conditions. Okay. And so if you if any of the hockey players out there think about skating on like a rink that's zamboni and everything, and then you go and play pond hockey, and the difference between the ice, ours is like ten times worse than a pond hockey rink. So I mean, there's there's literally rivets in the ice, big chunks and holes in the ice that are as big as your skate. Mm -hmm. So you really have to uh, have to be careful when you're going out there. So you're not only worrying about the jumps and the features and the other athletes that you're you're competing against you're you're worried about the elements and, and things like that is is rubbing racing yeah, absolutely absolutely and there's a lot of that in racing and there's a lot of that a lot in of film. contact and then and then you know there's always the discussion of well where's that line and and are you crossing it or are you not crossing it jack and i actually get into it in the film for one of our races and, and stuff because we're both pretty aggressive racers and uh you know whenever you're when you have that mindset and everything it just we can't help but make some contact. Well, what are the rules? Can you or not? Well, the, the rules are just make it to the finish line <laughs> without 
without uh, like hitting, like body checking or anything you would normally see in hockey, I guess. Without anything egregious. Yeah, nothing. Okay. Uh, nice word. Wow. Yeah, that's a new word. I've never heard that word before. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, just make it, try to make it down the top two yeah. of that race of four people. Yeah. Top two, make it to the next round. It sounds awesome. And just make. Uh, How long has it been around as a sport? I. Since 2001. Okay. And, yeah, it's just been growing since then. And, uh, yeah, we're just trying to keep well, it Well, how alive. did you guys pick it up? Did you play hockey first? You yeah. grew up skating? Yeah, when I was, when I was young, I, I started hockey when I was 10 years old. And then just moved up from there. And then, finally, after my last year of hockey, um, this came online. And there used to be little hockey rink races. And then we would get flown out to uh, Quebec City or... Minnesota or anywhere like that and then we get more points and we get to move on compete and do more ra- like compete in more races and stuff like that yeah they were in it pretty early on um, actually these guys are are veterans of sport I mean both of them been there 10 plus years Jack is the one that got me into the sport he actually came into my gym and uh, was looking for an axe throwing place he was going to try to start up an axe throwing <laughs> business <laughs> this is this is just like jack that sounds like a whole like, different yeah. documentary so <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so year. see yeah. a mammoth next year with axe throw yeah. yeah and so i got to know jack and he was like uh yeah you know i do i do this sport this, this ice cross sport and i was like wait you do that no way like i've always wanted to try it and so like five years ago he got me to come out to a race and everything and a lot of hockey player background a lot of rollerbladers a lot of skiers um and to be clear you said four a while ago dj right here is not an ice cross athlete yeah. Um, he can barely skate. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just a boy from Mississippi, and I'm pretty sure you'll hear me uh, say that in the film because uh, I can't skate, not even close. But I appreciate greatness. Mm-hmm. And so when you see these guys go down this track at, you know, 35, 40 miles an hour, and then you see the track with all the, you know, the rivets, the holes, the cracks in the ice. I mean, you've got 100 guys going down multiple times on blades, like mm. you said. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be beat up. Mm. So you see him doing this and, and not thinking twice about it. You're like, this is different. And it should be on TV and more people should know about it, which is why we're trying to put it out there. Yeah. I'll back DJ up on this. So when I saw some videos of Britain racing and I was like, oh, that looks kind of crazy. I'm from Canada. So I'm like, where's the hockey skate or the yeah, hockey the sticks, stick? Yeah. I don't really get it. This is fine. <laughs> Anyways. And it looks, it looks crazy on, on film. Like you see kind of an, at this point it was just iPhones and you kind of see them ripping down this track and then going to Finland, I got to see them in the final race. And not only are these guys at the start and they're ripping down like a cliff at the beginning but then there's rollers and there's these huge ramps that they're like flying over and falling and like hitting into each other there's a funny video actually too is a squirrel hopped on the track and they're all like avoiding the squirrel (laughs) and like anyways it's, it's just like it's the most insane that's why i love this film they did such a good job too at capturing how yeah. you know these tracks are and how dangerous it is so excited for everybody to see it oh it's a, it's a great sport to film and and watch and i mean that's where producers come in we'll get a word from you guys on how you how you came to find this story here because it is it's like it's like a hot wheels track <laughs> it's like they build a hot wheels track with ice and then yeah. go down on these blades and stuff. i mean it's it's crazy but how did, how did you guys as producers you know find these guys or or find their 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 film or their subject or when did you come on to the project yeah so i met dj in um we're, we're over in Austin area in Texas, and I met him. He introduced me, me to Britain and was telling me about this sport. Well, I brought DJ on as a producer, first time ever, like to step foot on set be on for a short film we were doing. Mm. And, like, he caught the bug. We were doing Tracing the Divide, and he lived, uh, in, he lived in the house next door to me. And so he was seeing the whole process, and he was like, wait, we got this other thing, Ice Cross. Wow. Like, cool. we got to film this. And so – that came about and so our job was to come in and kind of form an outline and a narrative and to help them understand these are how you interview these are the questions you need to figure out to ask you have to be open to the people you're going to meet in this this is going to be chaos you're not going to want to film everything so you need to film everything (laughs) and get it on camera and this is an outline of what the storyline is following like jack and all the other guys and and finding that personal element and making it purposeful of why this sport exists but how does it change lives what does it do personally to each of these people and these guys like absolutely slaughtered that they did amazing yeah yeah well because it's not just about the sport it's about the athletes right like any any good uh, action sports show or documentary 
Um, yeah, I was going to say, uh, uh, they killed it, okay? And they did all the work. But, but yeah. to their credit, they also listened. Okay, that's huge. Um, you know, we, we, we had a, a, a Zoom meeting um, where we, I think, we, built, we helped uh, them build a foundation with flexibility. But we can t- I, I can do that any, any day, any time, and not everybody listens. Mm. All right. So like to be open and to really want to, to, to hear with understanding and then to apply that is this is something else entirely. And that's all them. Yeah, that's really cool, guys. It's a great story. Um, who, how, how is it? Ice crosser? Like, who's the best ice crosser in the world? Who's the, is there what, what's the what's the terminology here? Fill me in. Ice cross athlete. Ice cross athlete. Ice cross athlete. OK, and, uh, yeah, because I'm sure the film is not like I said, not just about the sport, but there's got to be some rivalries and and things like that amongst all these so guys. The sport you got is 100 in a, guys competing in anything. Yeah, the sport is in a, a weird uh, moment, a transitional moment. Uh, for several years, Red Bull was the title sponsor. And you might have even seen a couple events uh, from Red Bull where it was called Red Bull Crash Dice. Okay. But as some marriages do, you know, you, you come to a point and you got to go your separate ways. So they mutually parted ways, no more Red Bull, and it happened the year COVID hit. Mm. So since then, the sport has been on the bounce back, and it's been kind of cool to watch. Even though the events aren't as big, there's not as much money, but the athletes have all kind of united as one to help keep the sport alive, cool. to help it grow. Uh, you know, all the major sports, NBA, NFL, they've all had moments where they almost went under, but they found a way to keep it alive sure. and look at where they are now and the lives they're impacting now. and we've seen that from the beginning like this sport has the potential to change lives we just got to keep it alive so that it it gets to that point cool well i mean you're bringing a lot of awareness to it with the documentary and everybody's super excited to see it tonight showing at the minaret cinemas at 6 p.m and then that's followed by uh uh, tracing the divide which is the the bike pack movie uh, that these guys also produced, but um, I mean, congratulations, you guys, on the on the film and on being here in Mammoth. How's your experience been at Mammoth Film Festival? Oh, it's been awesome. Yeah, it's been yeah, awesome. It's been, yeah, we've we've had it. We've had it. You guys are just at home time. right here with all the snow and the yeah. ice and the cold <laughs> weather, right? Well, I mean, are you looking to build a track? Did you try to build so. a track in the parking lot? Or actually, what? actually, we have yeah. we have we have had this conversation um, with a couple of people. I think there's a little too much snow here. Yeah. Uh, the yeah. the the cold conditions are good and that's good for us, but definitely a little bit too much snow. I mean, we'd have to be constantly shoveling everything so uh i i we'll see yeah May, maybe one well day. they got snow up here in mammoth from like november till july so i you know an ice cross event here in town sometime in the future would, would probably be pretty yeah, awesome we're definitely open to it It'd be yeah. exciting absolutely <laughs> that would be cool yeah we uh oh you're handling yeah. yeah and we had a race in bathurst new brunswick uh like seven eight years ago it they had made they made the ice track out of 300 trucks full of snow so we don't have to worry about that part. It's just the shoveling part and like the <laughs> sculpting the ramps and all that. Yeah. Like uh, on that track, we had a step down, like a a step, but instead of landing flat, it would just continue going down. Man, it was about four feet high. Yeah. Or yeah, like up to about up to my chest. So about four feet. And um, yeah, the only problem was that year the got a little warm that time. But it was the year before that we had it, and it was great. It was our, wild. Our biggest. Our biggest jump, um, like when you said, it was like 50 miles an hour, 82 kilometers. The biggest, the jump at the end of that was 32 meters distance. So like almost half a hockey rink or something like that. Oh my gosh! Remember yeah. between the blue line and red well, line. Well, we're we're, we're used to people jumping on skis, snowboards, you know, whatever, but ice skates. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's a catching little, air. I mean, yeah, it's a little wild. Whenever wild. the first time I saw it, I thought I thought it was a little wild, but. But to Eric's point, it was uh, <laughs> just a little. The <laughs> I was like, "That's a little wild. I gotta try it." How about but your first race, though, Britt? Yeah, I, you so came to the sport. These guys were already in it. He brings you in. I mean, talk about the feelings, the emotions, the adrenaline. Yeah. So your first uh, time getting in. My my first race was in Minnesota, and like I said, Jack was like, "Dude, yeah, you got to come out." It was one of the smaller races, and uh, on the first time I got on the track, I felt like a kid that learned to skate. Like I. I've played hockey my entire life. I've always been on skates. I felt really confident. And then I get out there, and the ice is uneven and bubbles, and it's all shifting. And I, I was like, I can't even – I can barely stand up. I was like, what did I get myself into? Like, what did <laughs> what did Jack talk me into? <laughs> and uh, and then the first time I sent it over a, a couple of doubles going, you know, 20 feet in the air, I was like, okay, well, I'm hooked for life. Like, wow. this is this is it. And uh, yeah, that feeling has never gone away. Every time I get on a track, it's the, the same excitement. And 
yeah, I think you get to experience that watching the film too. You yeah. really get to see everyone because there's people from all over the world. I mean, we have one of our featured athletes is from Australia, and he did not grow up ice skating. He right. his first time on ice skates was on an ice cross track. Like he was a rollerblader and everything. And so, um, just the yeah, you get that element watching the film, and it's it's um, we're excited for everyone to finally see it. No, cool. Yeah. And the uh, my first experience with ice cross was watching him compete in Fenway Park. And uh, so Red Bull had a big world championship event in Fenway Park from the top of the wall all the way down to home plate. <laughs> and I was like, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. like, like, all right, it's a crazy sport, but you're going to do it like this? It, it was nuts. So we can see how, how high the sport can go and, and, you know, where it can really reach. Now we just got to get it back there. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, that's why you come to Mammoth Film Festival. It's not just the the features and the the shorts, the music videos. The, what they got the action sports films as well, which are filling you in on like sports you've never even heard of, or or things that you know need to have more uh, awareness and, and a light shown on them because it's really cool, you guys. And I mean, I've only seen the trailer so far, but the footage is is nuts, and you really do take the audience right into there. So I'm sure everyone's gonna love it tonight. So congratulations. We'll see you guys on the red carpet, right? Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Cool. Hey, uh, don't forget the Loop Live this year, you guys, is brought to you by our friends at Seen It and at Rack the Planet. Um, I don't have many briefcases left, but if you guys want to grab these briefcases in front of you there, I have uh, one. Well, you know, have the front row here. Yeah, you guys have already been in here before. Let me toss one over there. Here's one for you. There's no combo or anything. You open those up. There is some cold hard cash in there from our friends at Rack the Planet, and Rack stands for Random Acts of Kindness. See if they can open it. First of all, yeah, you can. 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 You can either oh, rack it forward, cool. rack it for yourself, rack hey, it for hey, someone hey, out there. There is cash oh, in there. Right. Um, <laughs> but thank you to our friends at Rack the Planet for powering the loop this oh, year. And uh, this for ice cross. <laughs> Whenever you win, this is what you get a little briefcase. <laughs> 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 Thanks for being here, guys. Really appreciate it. I'm Thank Brett, and that's keeping you in the loop.